Hello my hungry friends! Today we're making red braised cabbage with raspberries. Kapusta czerwona z malinami. Welcome back friends! This is Porsche Kitchen and my name is Anna and here I teach you how to make Polish food. Can you eat Polish food if you're not Polish? Yes. Good. Good answer. Thank you. You get five stars. Yep. Today we're preparing a dish that you can easily make for Thanksgiving as your side dish. Don't give me the eye. Uh, we're making braised red cabbage with raspberries. A, and this is a traditional Polish dish that we normally eat with some kind of, um, I'd say, like a gamey meat. Yeah, more uh, uh, a bird. Bird like usually. duck or goose. Um, you could eat it with turkey. So uh, it's, it's nice and aromatic, it's creamy and sweet and sour. We're gonna do uh, raspberries today. You could also do apples. So I have about half of head of cabbage that I have sliced on a machine. Uh, and I encourage you to use your food processor to do this because we want this to be uh, pretty fine. We want nice, small, small, thin pieces, um, not huge, chunky. It needs to be nice and fine and creamy, and we want it to look presentable. So uh, go ahead and slice your cabbage. And I'm also gonna do everything in one pot today. I've, I thought about maybe preparing the cabbage first, and then I'm like, we're gonna go easy today. So I have my pot over here and first we're going to make roux. So we're going to make roux out of um, butter and flour. So I have four tablespoons of butter that I'm going to melt a little bit here. And to the butter, as soon as it melts, I'm going to grab a whisk. To the butter, we're going to add three uh, tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And that's gonna make our cabbage nice and creamy, and it's gonna provide that kind of smooth, uh, smooth juice to our, to our dish. And as this is heating, I'm also gonna throw in my spices so they can get a little activation going. And I have um, black pepper, whole, and I'm gonna just take a pinch. Uh, it's probably eight, eight uh, peppercorns or so. And we're gonna do bay leaves, and I'm gonna do a couple. And normally we do allspice also, berries, but today I'm gonna use uh, ground allspice, just because I want it to give me a little bit more flavor. But I'm gonna add that a little bit later. And I'm also adding juniper berries to my dish. And I have six over here, and you can get those in your on the regular spice aisle, and I think I'm gonna whack these a little bit to meat hammer will come in handy. I'm gonna crush these a little bit just because I want them to give me a little bit more flavor. I'm gonna add them here now, and as the butter is melting, I'm just gonna add this here and whisk this a little bit just to combine. And I'm not gonna keep this on heat too long because I don't want butter browning. So as, long, as soon as this combines, I'm gonna take my uh, cabbage and add it to, to the butter. And cabbage is raw at this point, so we want this to soften a little bit. So to soften, we need it to get a little bit moisture. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna start with just a cup of water. And see how that goes. And for it to, and we need a little bit of salt. I'm gonna do half a tablespoon to start with and then we'll adjust. And give this a good stir. And the cabbage is starting to Give a little color, and we want, we want that color to kind of be preserved. So 
So for it to be preserved, we need to give it a little bit of vinegar. So to it, I'm gonna add, and vinegar here in Poland is a little bit stronger. It's 10% here. And as far as I know, American vinegar is about 4%. So I'm gonna add about a couple tablespoons. You can go, uh, go ahead and add about half, a quarter cup. And as soon as I added the vinegar, it, the cabbage is turning nice and hot, hot pink. That's what we want. We want the color to kind of stay this nice color. And this has to braise just for a little bit. And the cabbage is going to be softening and softening more and more. Did I add salt already? I did, didn't I? You have to pay attention. <laughs> and laugh at my jokes. I'm laughing at your jokes. I don't remember salt. <laughs> I need to get my little rack. I did. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this um, a little bit lower, maybe. And since the cabbage is sliced thinly, it shouldn't take a whole lot of time to cook. Now I'm going to add another half a cup of uh, water because I wanted just a little bit more moist, I guess. I don't know if that's a good word to use for food. Moist? Um, Juicier. Juicy, I guess. <laughs> and to our cabbage, we're also going to add um, some red wine and I have half a cup and preferably dry wine so that's your Cabernet Sauvignon and that's gonna add a little bit more nice and vibrant red color which is already happening would you like to see yes <laughs> anything. it looks delicious already I think, don't you think? Mm -hmm. And this is also a meatless dish for those of you who pay attention to that. Am I missing anything? I have, oh, and I, allspice can go in too. And I have a quarter teaspoon. It's gonna give us nice earthy flavor and tone to our dish. And sour comes from vinegar and Sweet is gonna come from our raspberries, which I'm gonna add here in a second. And we're gonna taste it, and if we think, we may add a little bit of sugar or honey too, is possible, just to make it nice and sweet and sour. So I'm gonna cover this, and I'll let this go for a few minutes. Five minutes, my friends. And I love the color of this cabbage. This is for sure a job of the vinegar and red wine. And without it, it would look kind of pale. And I just prefer it this way. I was going to say something else. <laughs> uh, and so five minutes of cooking. I like a little bit of tiny crunch in my cabbage, so I don't want to overcook it. So five minutes, it's good for me. I'm going to add raspberries and I have about eight ounces here. Whoa, there's a leaf too. Don't add leaves. And I'm gonna give this a good stir and they will soften and give us a little sweetness. And I guess um, grandma used to add uh, some, what you call it? Raisins also. I can see how they would how they would do well in this dish. Raisins, or um, I've made this with fresh plums too. That would do great. I'm gonna give this a taste, and I see that it needs just a little bit of more moisture. So I'm gonna add uh, another about half a cup of water. I want this to be a little bit of a little creamier than this, and I want the raspberries to break down. And it's okay if they're mushy. They're gonna give us some sweetness. 
Um, but I'm gonna give this another five minutes, I should taste it and see if it's a little bit more salt. Husband says I didn't add salt. Okay, I looked at the camera and you did. Mmm. Flavors are already combining. I can taste the juni juniper berries. Let's um, give it another well, five minutes or so. Another five minutes. And this is getting nice and juicy. Now if you're preparing this for your Thanksgiving meal, good thing about it. So let me <laughs> say something here. My husband is moaning over here in the corner. <laughs> He's a traditionalist as far as Thanksgiving dinner goes, so I always have to negotiate dishes that will also be served. Uh, so if you don't have to negotiate. <laughs> in my defense, I don't try to put American food in Polish Christmas. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, I would recommend to cook this in the morning and let this kind of sit and marry all day and then just heat it up right before you're ready to serve because this will just get better with time and um, it, we, we know there's lots to do on Thanksgiving Day so this is one of those things that will just be done I want to give this a taste mmm I'm going to taste the raspberries already, but I'm going to add a little bit more salt, probably another half a teaspoon, and I think it needs more sugar, not more sugar, it needs sugar. So this will depend on the sweetness of your fruit. Uh, so give it a taste, but it should, it should be sweet a little bit. So I'm going to add about half a tablespoon at this time, and, um, and then right before serving I would taste it again and kind of adjust but your dish is done um, what, else, what else is there to say like gorgeous cabbage right can't I mean you can't fix perfect um, as I said cabbage is still has a little crunch we've cooked it so far for about 10-12 minutes uh, so we'll go ahead and turn this off let this sit on your stove uh, for at least an hour if you have to if you'd like to serve it right away uh, let it kind of sit and marry the f have the flavors marry a little bit more and you're good to go should we taste it uh-huh let me just mix the sugar in here we have quite a bit hey 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 <laughs> no, that's not fair. Simple. I mean, what can I say? I hope you make it at home. Thanks for visiting our channel. See you Friday when kitchen's closed and taking you out to eat. Uh, this week we're gonna show something exciting. <laughs> so you better check back in and subscribe to our channel check out the merch store thank you for supporting our uh, our channel by buying merch and giving us donations we really appreciate it and we'll see you back again smudge nego